Ecosystems change over time. One way ecosystems change over time is through a process called ecological succession. Ecological succession is a gradual process of change and replacement of some or all of the species in a community. It can take hundreds or thousands of years. Each new community makes it harder for the previous one to survive. There are two types of ecological succession. We're going to go over primary succession and secondary succession. Then there will be a slide that shows you the difference between primary and secondary succession. Primary succession is the establishment of a new biological community in an area of bare rocks. Plants moving in after a lava flow or glacial retreat. You have your pioneer species that develop first, then intermediate species, and then your climax community is formed. During primary succession, lichens begin growing on the bare rock. Over many years, lichens break down rock into sand. Weathering and erosion break down rock into sand as well. Lichens that do not need soil to survive are called pioneer species. You look in the picture here, this is an example of lichens. Lichens grow larger. Some die, decomposers arrive and break down the lichens. The dead lichens and waste materials of the decomposers enrich the sand. The nitrogen cycle begins and eventually enough nutrients enter the sand and it becomes soil. Here's an area of bare rock that is covered in lichens. The Climax community is a mature, stable community that is the final stage of ecological succession. In an ecosystem with a Climax community, the conditions continue to be suitable for all the members of the community. Any particular region has its own set of Climax species, which are the plants that are best adapted for the area and will persist after secession has finished until another disturbance clears the area. These are some examples of climax communities. A summary of changes that occurred during secession. The pioneer species colonize a bare or disturbed site the soil begins to build. Changes in the physical environment occur, example, light and moisture. New species of plants displace existing plants because their seedlings are better able to become established in the changed environment. Newly arriving species alter the physical conditions, often in ways that enable other species to become established. Animals come in with or after the plants they need to survive. Eventually, a climax community that is more or less stable will become established and have the ability to reproduce itself. Disturbances will start the process of secession again. The second type of ecological secession is termed secondary secession. Secondary secession occurs after a major disturbance happens and the soil still remains. Example, after a forest fire.
During secondary secession, organisms are destroyed, but the soil is safe. The soil already contains the seeds of weeds, grasses, and trees. More seeds are carried to the area by wind and birds. Secession begins again, but the primary species are different. Because soil is present, this secession is faster. After secondary succession and the climax community is formed, a stable group of plants and animals that is the end result of the secession process. It does not always mean big trees. For example, grasses in prairies, cacti in deserts. Here's a depiction of secondary secession. Picture one shows you the flourishing forest. Picture two and three shows you the fire has engulfed the forest and destroyed everything. In picture four, we, we're left with the soil. Picture five, we've got some weeds and grasses have started to grow. In six, we have some shrubs and small trees. In picture seven, the trees are growing, the grass is growing. And then in picture eight, we finally have our climax community. Now, here's primary secession versus secondary secession. Remember, primary secession starts with bare rock. The pioneer species, which is usually lichen, grow. Then we start to get grasses and weeds, and then a few trees. Secondary secession, we're left with the soil. Then we have some grasses and small trees to grow. The trees grow bigger, and then it becomes a lush forest. That is your lesson on ecological secession. Please go back and fill in your note sheet that goes with this lesson.